Friday. Where are we about to go? Post Malone. Woo Post Malone in Atlanta. We're going to Post Malone concert in Atlanta. We are so excited. Like, wow. Like, wow. What a great start to the weekend. We have a football game tomorrow. It's <laughs> just going to be a good weekend. This is Emmy and McKenna. If you guys Hi. haven't met them yet, they're always on my channel. Um, we're in Athens right now. We're about to, my mom's actually here right now. We're about to drive over to the Atlanta airport, drop my mom off. She's been here for a couple days. And then we're going to scoot on over to just the arena. The arena. The arena. Just scoop. Shout out to SeatGeek app for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me, Emmy, and McKenna to go to the Post Malone concert tonight. I love Post Malone. I know they do too. We were planning on going and then SeatGeek was like, let's <laughs> take you. And we're like, ah, I'm so excited. So thank you so much to SeatGeek for that. If you don't know about the SeatGeek app, it basically makes ticket buying super simple and they have a ton of tickets on their app with ranks from zero to 100, so you can tell what the best tickets are, the best prices, everything like that. So you guys can get $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase using my code, Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-A-N, baby. Click the link in the description down below to download the app and check it out for yourself. But yeah, we're pretty, pretty pumped. Thank you, SeatGeek, for hooking up with these amazing tickets. SeatGeek is an amazing app that helps you buy tickets in the easiest way possible. All right, Emmy, show us your outfit of the night. Hello, I got this cute butterfly top from Urban. And these pants from Danielle's closet. <laughs> Very, I think they're from Nasty Gal. They are? Maybe. They're Maybe. cool. And then Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones, a vibe. I just love this whole outfit. And then a denim jacket. So cute. <laughs> Kenna, you're next. Okay. These shoes, courtesy of Danielle. They're from Princess Polly. <laughs> um, Look at her dope jeans. jeans. They are from TJ Maxx. And then this shirt wrap thingy majig from our friend Katie. So cute. <laughs> you look so pretty. Yay. As for my fit, I just got this shirt today from Impeccable Pig. It's a one shoulder, one arm bodysuit from Impeccable Pig. I already said that. My jeans are from American Eagle. They're from the curvy line. I'm like obsessed. I can't stop getting them. They're all in sale right now. Um, very, very comfortable. And then I'm wearing my Bershka boots because why wouldn't I be? And then same jewelry. And yeah. Wait guys, come here, squat up. You guys ready? To get down to post Malone. Delaney sending us off and her gals on the go merch. Love it. Mama's here. Say hi hey, girl. <laughs> Got her suitcase. So many things are happening. Hey, goodbye to peaceful. <laughs> to TPA. ATL to TPA. <laughs> <laughs> We just got here! We literally parked like right next to the stadium. I'm like, what? This is awesome. I forgot there's like people our age here. Bye guys. <laughs> Guys, this is so me. Spaghetti to go. I'm here for it. Hi guys, this is a quick update. I'm sorry this angle is weird if you can hear me. Uh, Danielle and Emmy just went to get some pretzels, but we're at the concert. We haven't found our seats yet, but we're just chilling and eating because we got here early, you know. But hey. Got a lovely Moscow mule, a pretzel, it's a vibe. A lot of my music is sad songs. There's a lot of songs about heartbreak and sad times. But this next song I wanted to make a happy yeah. time, a celebration yeah, yeah, of life. Yeah, yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name. Saturday morning, it's game day. 
If you guys saw my little weather thing, um, it's a little rainy out and cold today. But it is not going to stop us. We are starting off the morning by going to spin. Um, Pervella does this thing called the October Challenge and we basically all have like these like bingo boards <laughs> up on the wall at the studio. If you cross off all the like spots on the on the sheet before the end of October, you get a t-shirt. And who doesn't want a free t-shirt? And it like says that you can play to the October Challenge and stuff like that. So like, I don't know, I thought it's been fun. It's been challenging me. I have to, I've done almost everything. I just have to do the weekend warrior, which means you go to a spin class both Saturday and Sunday, which is always hard to go on Saturdays because of games. We have like a later game today. So Delaney and I were like, let's do it today. We have to go to a 6 a.m. ride, which we're gonna do next week. And then I think I'm done. So yeah, we're about to head out. I'm really excited. The Post Malone concert last night was so much fun. He brought out so many guests. He brought out Gucci Mane. He brought 21 Savage. Obviously, Sway Lee. It was so much fun. Seriously, I thank you again to Seat Geek. Like, that was so hype. He And he literally didn't even have any dancers or anything. It was just him up there with all these cool lights. And he's such a good singer. He did stay acoustically. Like... It was just so much fun, and I met a lot of you guys along the way, so thanks to all the people that said hi to me last night. So, yeah, Delaney and I have got to go. Here is the fit for spin. You guys know the drill. with a kale bowl and their cold brew is actually delish so yeah gonna go get ready it's ryan's parents weekend for his fraternity so i'm going to like hang with his fam and like do the whole parents weekend tailgate thing and then as like a student you have to scan your student id if you have a ticket otherwise you get a strike for not going to the game so and like i want to go to the game but if it's raining that's gonna not be so fun so we're gonna have to like scan our ids at one point um, or we'll just type it out and bring umbrellas. Or I can bring like a rain jacket. I don't even have a rain jacket. I, I have a red Georgia rain jacket somewhere. Just showered, about to dig into this bad boy. <laughs> oh yeah. All right guys, we're finishing getting ready. Picking out our buttons. Shout out, thanks for everything on Instagram for sending me these awesome Georgia game day buttons. Like I'm what gonna wear a KD one. one. I know, Rodrigo. So cute. I just think these are so cool. There's Jake Bomb, there's Kirby. They're also cute, and so I'm gonna put them on my jacket and do a jacket vibe. All right, guys, it is game day time. The weather makes me have to dress a little bit more casual because I want to be warm. So I'm wearing this black tank from I can't remember. I think I don't even know. My normal layer necklaces. This jacket is from Madewell, and I just put on a ton of buttons. Jeans are from American Eagle, the curvy line. I'm obsessed with them. And then my white boots are from Nasty Gal. And then I've got my clear bag so I can get into the stadium. My hair is not gonna stay like this for long. I just feel it in my bones. <laughs> but yeah, let's go tailgate. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. The dogs won. I left at halftime with Ryan's mom and Ryan stuck it out. Go dogs, baby. Where, where are we now? McDonald's. <laughs> We're at McDonald's <laughs> getting food. Cause why not, you know? Got a nice ice water. Cheers. Got a McGriddle from McDonald's. These are amazing. This is literally like a pancake with syrup in it. Yep, this is so healthy. Ryan made me take him to racetrack so he could also <laughs> get a slushy. So, we're really killing the health game this Saturday evening. <laughs> he looks 12 years old. What's up, kid? <laughs> you look like you're 12 years old. <laughs> you want anything? Gummy bears, Twizzlers? <laughs>
Hey guys, so it is Sunday. Obviously, I've just had a super chill morning, just editing videos, drinking coffee, just having a lazy Sunday morning, but also a little productive, I guess. Um, I just put on my outfit for spin. I'm wearing a full-on Pervelo. They just came out with Lululemon merch. So this is like Lululemon stuff, but it says Pure Velo and Pure Velo. We love that. Lee and I are about to head to spin. That means we'll have spun yesterday and today, which means we're weekend warriors. And that crosses two more things off the October challenge for Pure Velo. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, let's go spin. Here we go. Woo. Guys, we sweat so much. No words, no words. <laughs> That was a really good workout. She had really good like Sunday music. It was like vibey SoundCloud stuff. It was good. I'm gonna drop Delaney off at home because she has to study or write something or something. Right, a good old essay. And I'm gonna go Trader Joe's because I have negative food in the refrigerator. Negative, if that's possible. All right, made it to Trader Joe's. Got all my reusable bags. You guys proud of me? Why is it that everyone that works at Trader Joe's is so nice, so friendly, like, Gosh, every time I like look forward to checking out because they just make it such an enjoyable experience They get so personal about it. Like everyone's just so sweet like Trader Joe's employees need to raise they need to raise because they're awesome Got so many groceries my refrigerator's about to be stocked got stuff to make dinner for Delaney and I tonight Good stuff, baby. All right as Brooke would say I'm having a day. I'm just having a little bit of an afternoon I'm, I'm like obsessed with home goods recently So I'm gonna go into home goods really quick and see if they have any cheese boards because um, I bought Stuff to make a cheese board. I'm really excited. I'm really inspired only like a couple things So it's gonna be like a little cheese board I'm just like feeling motivated and we don't have a cheese board I'm gonna see if they have any cheese boards And I also think they have like little crackers that you can put with your cheese boards because I forgot to get that So are you guys proud Brooke? Are you proud? All right got the cheese board and then these for the cheese. I haven't done a good old Trader Joe's haul in a minute. Um, so let's just get to it. I've got three bags. My like, fridge is about to be so stocked. All right, so you guys know I love these lemon basil pastas. They are so good. They're older well, pasta salads. They're just incredible and I just have to have them in my life. Got one chicken Caesar salad. Got some shaved beef steak for our dinner tonight. We're having broccoli beef stir fry. It's gonna be lit. Got more soy milk. I use it for like oatmeal and mac and cheese. Broccoli for the stir fry tonight. And I got lots of fruit because I need to start when I want to snack. I need to start eating fruit when I'm snacking, not chips. And I'm still gonna eat chips, but like, gotta have fruit on hand. I haven't had grapes in a while and they're a great snack and they last a really long time. So I got some green grapes. I got some honey crisp apples because they last a while as well. Some baby carrots. And I got this because Brooke told me to try it. If you guys listen to our podcast, Gals in the Go, you would know. Um, these are the Chomps um, sticks. They're kind of like jerky stick. Actually, no, these aren't jerky because I don't like jerky. They're free range turkey snack sticks. I'm gonna try one. She said they're great and they like hold her over when she needs a quick snack. I don't know if this is my vibe, but I wanna try one. She told me I might like it. And then for the cheese board, very, very minimal cheese board. Very, very minimal, but I got a thing of brie. Oh, that is so beautiful looking. I know Delaney's like, yas. Then I got manchego cheese. I like love this cheese so much. That's amazing. And then I got some prosciutto that I'm gonna roll up. I got banana unanas. I, 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 every time I go to Trader Joe's, I try different bread because they don't sell Dave's Killer Bread and I just didn't have time to like go to Kroger also. So I always try different bread. I'm trying this time the multi-grain bread. Sliced. Aren't they all sliced, Daniel? Because I'm a big girl, I got um, a bottle of Pinot Grigio. This is $2.99. $2.99 at Trader Joe's. Brooke told me about these. And that's just awesome. So I'll let you guys know if this is good. Back on my yogurt um, parfait grinds in the morning. Got some granola. I love this granola from Trader Joe's. It's like the fruit and seed granola. Um, <laughs> I just love these. These are a great little pick-me-up. These are called the blueberry walks into a bar <laughs> cereal box. I got two complete cookies because would a grocery haul be complete without complete cookies? I am funny right now. Then I got Greek yogurt. This is my favorite Greek yogurt ever. This is what I make my parfaits with. Got more Earth Balance. Oh my god, I almost tripped. Um, got more Earth Balance um, margarine. Okay, 
low key gonna try low key high key we're just gonna try this i've seen this on the gram this is the la colombe coffee triple shot draft latte it just looked really cute oh my gosh it's equal to three shots of espresso Whew, i'll save this for a, a day i really need it um got lots of kombucha you guys know this is my favorite so many of you guys have been tweeting me like try trilogy kombucha and i love it and it makes me so happy because it's so good for your gut so I got four of those and then I got two of just the cold pressed green juices. These have amazing ingredients in them. Lots of berries for my parfait. We got some blackberries. We got some raspberries. We got some blueberries and these are some fat blueberries. Like look at those. Like this is very exciting. Like those are gonna be so good. And then turkey meatballs. These are my, oh. Got some turkey meatballs. I love these so much. They're so good um, on their own with pasta, whatever you want. Lastly, I just got one thing of the bean and rice burritos, and that is it. There's so much food on my counter, I have to put it away because it's not been in the fridge for a minute. So I'm gonna put this all away, but thanks for watching this Trader Joe's haul. All right, guys, so I just put away my groceries. My room's a bit of a mess. Um, I just made some hot green tea and drink, and I've got about an hour till Brooke and I record Gals on the Go. So I'm gonna use that hour to clean up aka make my bed clean up um you know just clean just got some blue light glasses in the mail what do we think i got them from amazon they're just like clear frames i used to have a pair and then they broke and i just feel as if i needed a new pair these were literally 12 dollars on amazon um if you guys remind me i'll put the link below but i think they're just gonna be good for when i'm editing at night and stuff so yay Guys, look at my new bath mat. I'm obsessed. I got that one from Amazon, and then I just got this one from Urban Outfitters. I think it's supposed to go with this. I just didn't really love my other ones. I was just, I don't know. I really like this. It's just going to make me happy in the morning. And then this one's from Amazon, and it's, like, so comfortable when you stand on it. And it's just, it's just a vibe. So, thought I'd update you guys on that. All right, my room is nice and tidy. My candle's burning. It's, like, golden hour right now, so it's, like, beautiful out. I just love Sunday evenings, so it was just like a great start to the week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and FaceTime Brooke now. We record remotely, if you guys didn't know that, she lives in Boston, I live in Athens. And um, it honestly works out pretty well. We um, FaceTime and we record on our own mics, which I actually have to grab my whole situation. And then our producer puts it all together, which is awesome. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How are you? How's your day? Um, good. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, we're matching. <laughs> we're having a little girly pep talk. You know, it's good to hype we each are. other up sometimes. I know. Just having a little vent sash. A little chat. vent sash. <laughs> now we're about to record, though. It's going to be good. We're just recording the intro and outro because she recorded with Tori Simone this week. And I can't wait to hear the episode. My name's Danielle. We're so excited to be back at it for you guys. It's another week, another episode, baby. <laughs> yeah it's just like it's it's hump day it's like you're getting over that hump of the week that, i know if only you guys could see my hand motions um this week is gonna be a great episode um brooke had on tori de simone one of our very best friends Woo! finally done recording that was really fun always love catching up with brooke i'm gonna go grab delaney now and we're gonna make and we're gonna make our dinner finally i'm so hungry <gasps> There was a possessed human in here. Oh my god, it's Slenderman. Oh my god, you crazy girly. I was just coming to summon you. You finished it? Yes, queen party. 30 second party. Party, 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 party. Yay, yeah. All right, doing some jazz music tonight and some 2.99 Trader Joe's wine as we cook. Shout out to Morgan Yates um, for getting me these really cute little wine toppers. I just put that one on there. Vibes, absolute vibes. We're gonna be using coconut aminos as a soy sauce replacement. Obviously soy sauce is so good, but this is a great replacement. I got it at Trader Joe's, yummo. This is just looking delicious. Guys, look at this beautiness. Woo, time to eat. Okay, hey guys, so we just made our dinner. It was so good. I'm definitely gonna make that again. I've made broccoli beef before, but we got this like shaved beef. Oh my God, it was so good. I just love cooking. It's so fun. We like always play jazz music when we cook and it like, 
I'm just about to get in a good mood. I'm about to shower and then we're gonna watch The Other Woman. It's literally my favorite movie ever, if you guys didn't know that. And there's like a lot of jazz music in it. So we were like listening to jazz and we're like, we should watch that tonight. Um, just like the perfect Sunday. I'm just so happy today. I bought some stuff last week when I was shopping with my mom when she was here. And I've been like saving it up because I wanted to show you guys. So I thought I'd show you guys in like a little haul at the end of this vlog. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I ordered some stuff online. And just like I kind of have like another little collective haul. I don't have time to try on everything. So I just thought I'd include it in a vlog and not make it like big haul. And like not even try everything on. Alright, so from Urban Outfitters. They were having a ton of sales on all their sweaters. I don't know why. They're crazy because I'm just wanting to buy sweaters now. But they were doing like 30% off most sweaters. So I was like, yes, incentive. Um, I have like one little drawer under my bed with a ton of sweaters. And I can't reach it. But I think I only have a couple, so this is like perfect. I've got a good collection going on now. I love this sweater. It's like a little v-neck sweater, but it's like a low-key v-neck. It's not intense, and it's like a chunky knit. Oh my god, it is gray. It is so cute. It's kind of longer, so you can wear it with leggings if you want, or like tucked into jeans. And I can kind of wear it off the shoulder. I got it in a size small. Um, but this is such a good staple sweater. This one I'm I'm really into. I love cropped sweaters, sweatshirts, because you're like warm, but then it's still like kind of flattering. It's not, I mean, I love a good baggy drowning look, but we also, I like cropped because it's a little bit more flattering. So this is more like a night out sweater, or if I'm trying to be a little bit cuter, but still warm. It's like a really cozy, fuzzy material. It's just black. Um, and it has like bell sleeves, which I really like, but it's cropped and it's so cute on. It's like slightly higher necked, not completely. This sweater is awesome too. It's a red chunky turtleneck. Um, it's like almost long enough to be a dress, but it's just not. I tried it on there and I was like, oh, it can't be a dress, but I still really like it to wear with leggings or I was going to wear it with like a skirt so you can kind of see the skirt underneath. And then I got two of the same sweater in two different colors because they're on sale and they're just, again, good staple sweaters. I got this one. They're both turtlenecks um, and they're black and they've just got these huge sleeves, which I really like, but they like cinch at the... Um, this is called your wrist and then i also got the same sweater in white because i really like the classic clean look even with some like cool um trouser pants um i thought would be a vibe so i got another pair of joggers these are kind of similar to the lululemon dance studio joggers but these are a little bit more low-key um i thought this would be just great for like class or like traveling whatever um they're just black jogger pants but they're like a dry fit material lastly i got this sweatshirt that's totally out of my comfort zone i feel like this is not something i normally buy but for some reason it really caught my eye and i tried it on and i liked the fit of it um it's this sweatshirt and it's just a gray sweatshirt as you can see but then look at the sleeves look how dope this is and i loved how it was a hood but it literally doesn't even have drawstrings or anything and it's kind of like a more um a flared out look instead of like it doesn't cinch at the waist like most sweatshirts do so i liked that a lot i just like these sleeves these are so dope like when i'm like going to class and like want to be a little spunky but like you'd still be super comfortable even just like a top knot and um some like sneakers and jeans or leggings i just love this sweatshirt i feel like i'm gonna wear it like every day um so yeah did some shopping downtown with my mom and some boutiques in athens so from impeccable pig um i got that body today i wore it to the post malone concert and then i got this sweater that's so cute also kind of got it in mind for game day um big sleeves kind of some cool frays and fringes and everything but i just love the black and white stripes and the wide neck you definitely have to wear like a bralette or something with this because this is a size small and it's like so off the shoulder. And then I lastly got this bodysuit. I thought this was a perfect transition um, to the cooler weather for like going out and stuff. It's an off the shoulder bodysuit. It's like a cream color. I just think this is really pretty even for the holidays, honestly. I'm already thinking about the holidays, I'm crazy. But I just love this, just tucked in to some pants with some booties. So yeah, that's everything that I got. I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. Uh, I'll be wearing this stuff obviously the next few weeks, but yeah i am going to shower now i still haven't showered since then that is gross all right all cozied up i've got my gals in the go merch this is the long sleeve yellow tee got on some pj pants ryan actually got me these for my birthday very sweet um and we're gonna watch the other woman and just have a chill night i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very soon for our next video Bye bye